A blessed Thursday to all of you. How is your Lenten journey? This is Sister Daisy of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's reflection from the Gospel Power. Jesus said to the Jews, Very truly, I tell you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died, and so did the prophets, yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? The prophets also died. Who do you claim to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, He of whom you say He is our God, though you do not know Him. But I know Him. If I would say that I do not know Him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know Him, and I keep his word. Your ancestor Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, before Abraham was, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. Brothers and sisters, the human mind, unenlightened by faith, cannot make a connection with God. Prideful human logic leads only to a dead end. This is what we observe in the conversation between Jesus and the Jews. They are initially identified as believers, perhaps because they are drawn by the signs that Jesus has been performing in their midst. But now, as they pursue purely human logic, their conversation with Jesus turns sour, then hostile, until they are driven to act violently against Jesus. Twice Jesus tries to move their hearts to faith. In yesterday's Gospel, His invitation was to remain in His Word. In today's Gospel, He assures them that those who keep His Word will not experience death, but the Jews choose to listen to their stubborn and prejudiced minds rather than sense what their hearts tell them about their experience of Jesus. And so today, let us pray. Lord Jesus, the price of our freedom is your death on the cross. Help us to walk in newness of life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have full knowledge of every person, of our national problems and their causes, and you know the longings of our hearts. Lord, in the coming election, help us know and examine the track record and qualifications of candidates. Enlighten us to elect the right public servants to address our national problems and may they invite public participation in the process. Lord, in the face of election anomalies like vote buying and the use of government funds to campaign, enable us to speak out the truth 
and act accordingly as upright citizens and practicing Christians, so we can witness in words and actions the faith of 500 years you have gifted to our country. Amen.